five, six, seven, maybe. So headed out now. If I can get this mount right on this thing, I guess the trail head's about a mile away. So kind of a mix. We got a we got a TRX. Looks like Toyota, Tacoma, a couple of Jeeps. So uh, not just a Jeep run. We got a whole whole variety. Never been here. I know there's going to be some mud. So uh, I'm not a, not a huge fan of mud, but I'll see what I get myself into today. Back out. Back out. You're in four low. You're not spinning. I don't think you're in four low, are you? No. Yeah, go four low. Back out, back out. You're high centered. You're all good though, it's not up to the door jam, so. Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now try and hug the right or the left. Either or, get out of that rut. Go, 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 go. Good deal. TRX? Try turning the wheel a little bit left and right and keep backing out. Turn driver. Turn passenger. Keep keep trying until we get it hooked up. Uh, you don't have any tow points. Well, you got a hook up front? Try going forward again. Try going forward a little bit, left and right. Oh, you are going forward. All right, go back. You got toe points on the front of this? You got toe points on the front? You got a hook? Okay. All right, well, somebody got to get in it. <laughs> Getting that strap hooked up. No shackle hooked up. Get this thing out of here. It's the smallest one. It got high centered right in the middle of the rut. But we'll get it. Woo, all right, well, we just pulled that. Um, uh, what is that thing? I don't know, Forerunner, Isuzu? I I'm bad with not paying attention to what it is. Appreciate you. Nice and wet. <laughs> I had to use that uh, soft shackle and, and uh, receiver shackle to get that thing out. You can never hurt to carry a lot of equipment. You know, multiples of each is, is ideal.
that was fun. Not too bad of an obstacle. I'm hanging out in the back, kind of playing gunner. Cool trail. I mean, this is a, this is dug out like five, six, seven foot tall in some areas. We don't get trails like this in California. Where the bank is as, is as high as the Jeep. Well, off to find the next, next obstacle. It's kind of like, in California, this would be the equivalent to like a fire service road. Um, nothing real challenging, you know, any, any. I don't, I've only put it in four wheel drive one time out here, so. There is some obstacles off to the sides though. It's starting to get a little bit deeper sand, but uh, nothing overly crazy. But pretty much just drive the, the service road, forest road all the way through, and then there's trails off left and right of that. And, uh, and then you pick your line. Right now we're kind of in like a sand, deep sand pit area. The guys are messing around a little bit. You got lockers? Huh? You got lockers in it? Yeah. Turn them on. Oh no, maybe not. You gotta air down. It's not worth it at that point. Yeah, it's got a little more speed, but you're gonna get up to here and be the same thing. That's real soft. tempted to try it myself. I don't think he's giving up yet. You got it, you got it, come on. That's it, that's it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, you got it. Good deal, good deal. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Turn to the right. Good deal, good deal. Go. All right, close your eyes and floor it. He's, he's trying, trying that control. crawl control. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Yep. This thing's pretty, pretty tough incline. The holes are at least two, three feet deep on this thing. We're gonna get him to try it. Got it. Go, 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 go. Back up, try again, a little more speed. There it is. There it is. Oh. Got one of the holes. Neutral. Bumping around. <laughs> Letting off at the worst time. Man, 
I hate seeing stuff like this. Do not do that, guys. There's no point in trying to make your own trails. This is what screws everything up. Today. You know, if there's already designated trails, there ain't no need to try and make another one. That's what get these places shut down and give off-roaders a bad name, you know? You gotta stay on the freaking trail, guys. Doesn't matter to me, I'm sure there's more ahead. Well, on the way to the next yeah, obstacle, <laughs> and myself and the gladiator on 37s are the only one that made it. You just gotta you gotta commit to it. You gotta you gotta push it a little harder than you're comfortable with, but it's kind of a fine line. You don't want to push it too hard and start wheel hobbling and you know, that's when you break stuff. Even the way I did it, it was definitely a risk at breaking stuff, but uh, it's kind of a fine line, you know? Too slow, you're not gonna make it. Problem is, after like two, three tries, you don't make it, you start getting more ambitious and the next thing you know, you're full-blown rock balancer and that's when you break ball joints and bend axles and who knows what else. But uh, yeah, so. So far, it's pretty cool, man. Chill spot. Definitely a lot to do out here. Um, more, more than you could do in a day's time. There just seems to be trails everywhere. You know, California trails. You pretty much complete most of those in a, in a couple hours. So, and there's not a whole lot of obstacles on, on some trails. Most of them are just fire roads. But I dig it. I dig it. Uh, the next week or two, I'm going to Ocala. And then I'm gonna go to Rich Loam, which are all, you know, within an hour or two of each other. So, and, uh, and then a couple weeks down the road, I'm gonna go back out to Daytona, try and get out there on a busy weekend and get in 10, 15 recoveries. Oh, you little flexed out in here. Yeah. So that's what happens. Jeep's usually a pretty good. Yeah, I mean, a little tough. Can't back up at all. No, I don't want to risk breaking my pinion because it's uh, shaking. Is it okay? On my axle. Let me get you. Here, pop that uh, tow ball hitch out, and I'll slap a receiver shackle in there. You want to go for the car or the back? Um, backwards probably be easier, but it's up to, to you if you want to. Uh, Going downhill always makes it easier. Yeah. Sorry, I got a big brake kit. Yeah. All right, this is how we're gonna do it. Seven eighth rhino rope. This thing's good for 30,000 pounds. Got a rhino receiver shackle on that end. Rhino receiver shackle on this end. I don't know, we're just gonna, it's gonna be a super easy camp. And then, uh, as soon as I get right up there, you get undone, we'll stop. Good to go. Always good to make sure that there's no knots in this thing. You don't wanna kink it up. I like to throw it off to the right side, that way in my mirror I can see as it starts to get tight, but this will be super easy. Thing's a monster right here. She's a big one. Thing's so easy. Impressive. It's pretty impressive. I think he's gonna take the bypass. I don't blame him. Shoot, I'm probably gonna take the bypass too. Uh oh, I'm gonna get wet. Good deal, good deal. Nice and easy. What 
the hell? That's just power. <laughs> Somebody went wheeling. <laughs> it's just junk. Well, that little cart in there. I don't know, maybe somebody was doing a cleanup out here. Either that or they were coming out here trying to dump it. There's some houses right over there, but we got a bypass. We can get around it, but it'd probably be best to get it out. Oh no, we got a bypass. Let's see if we can uh, hook a strap to it. But there's really not any better place to put it unless we maybe back it up over here. Check it out. Yes, somebody's gonna do it. All right, doing our good deed for the day. I'm gonna get this thing out of here. It's tight, tight bypass right there. And then even the Super tight. even the Tacoma had to do a three, four point turn just to get turned around. And he's still about to touch that tree. But let's get this thing out of here. And get it off the off the trail up there. You got it. All right. Let's see if the little taco can get her out. I mean, just try. Let's see if we can move. Off there. I don't know. It ain't my trailer. <laughs> Well, it might just pull right off, we'll see. We clear? Yeah. Try it, yeah. Nice and slow for a second, see if it'll go. I might just dig it out so it falls down on there. Nope, came out. Hold on. Hey, does that have safety chains on it? Yeah, it does, yeah. That wasn't too hard. Get it set up over here now, off the trail, out of the way. And, uh, you know, maybe these people will come back for it. I'll be pretty happy. Well, this is a uh, good three foot on the right side. Three foot drop on the left side. You know, the, the camera never does it justice. Man, it's really sketchy. This is getting... Last week we came south and it was a lot easier. It's getting soft, yeah. It's just starting to get mushy. Oh, look at that. That's a big old drop off right there. I mean, yeah, the problem is when you get in it, your whole Jeep's gonna like roll over to the right and you're gonna be scrubbing your doors and side all the way up it. You're gonna do some damage. You gonna back out? I would do the same. I almost went down it. Ken here in the red Jeep was, he jumped right up in front and went for it. <laughs> Got to that spot and it's like, ah. You know, if it was an old beat up Toyota, and you know, already dented up, I'd send it. But these uh, nicer, newer Jeeps, you don't want to do body damage for stuff like that. There's a problem, even the bypass, it like comes down right here. Uh, dude, if you drop into that thing, that's every bit of four feet deep on the side. Just hug, hug that tree line and then you should be good. <laughs> that got so the TRX is going to try and make this biggest truck, longest, widest, but it should be good. It's, it's a little tight for sure, but everybody else made it fine, so... Hard left. Yeah. It's funny. We just rolled up into this one section. And uh, I was like, man, this looks familiar. I have seen this hole on different YouTube videos of people stuck. It's a pretty cool spot. It definitely looks like this is going to be the deepest hole of the day. Back on up in there. Keep coming, keep coming. <laughs> you can cut across the left, just not the middle. Oh, this middle one is the deep one? I got right, right? Like gotcha. Yeah, I want to see somebody back into it. Try it. I don't have a snorkel yet until I get a snorkel. 
I ain't messing around with stuff like this. reversed all the way through it that's sometimes that's how you got to do it test it out that way if you do drop into a hole it's not the motor that's not good let me let's see oh she's like up under the transfer case yeah see if i can back it up that is not good watch yourself Watch out for the Jeep. Yeah, I don't think, hold on. We got, we got to get that out of there. Yeah, turn it all the way that way. Right. There it is. <laughs> that thing was jammed up in there. Oh, fuck. They don't want to do it. Let's get the ram. The ram could do it. They're all capable. It's going downhill. It's not really that hard. It looks more intimidating. You're good. There we go. This guy knows what's up. Turn a passenger. To the right? Yeah, yeah. Keep going, passenger. You got your wheel all the way cut left. There you go. I know it's hard to tell. Go right? Yeah, you're good. So the thing that always happens is you kind of lose sense of the steering wheel and you can't tell which way you're turning. And then the wheel trying to rub against the wall just fights it the whole way. So that's why spotters are needed. This Lob and take you where it wants to. Okay. Yeah, just you know, make sure your wheels. He kept riding the wall, but yeah, you're good. Trophy. <laughs> Got some carnage. There we go. Look at that. Look at that cake. Yeah, that's a, that was my favorite part of the whole trail. What what trail is this? Uh, 16. 16. 15 to 16 out to the highway. Yes. Gotcha. Good deal. Good deal. That was the most fun I've had. That yeah, thing is. Yeah, I probably took it a little bit faster than I should have, but you know, first one to try it, hit it with a little bit of speed. It came out all right. So. Yeah, looks good.
Да. Facebook, um, check out this group local to Florida. It's called Florida Trail Stompers. That's where I met these guys. And, uh, they're a pretty active club. They do runs, you know, pretty often. And uh, it's not just a Jeep club. It's it's not really a club. It's just a Facebook group. But uh, they they got a pretty organized, pretty active, and uh, good good group of guys for sure. But if you want any of the equipment that you see me use, the kinetic rope, the receiver shackle, the soft shackle. Check out rhinousainc.com. Uh, we got a you know wide variety of off-road uh, recovery gear and accessories. But uh, if you enter the discount code 4x4Rescue, you get 10% off. So check out rhinousainc.com. Load up on some gear. You can never have too much of this stuff. But overall, fun day, fun times. You know, this is my first outing in Florida. And, uh, I'm glad I tagged along on this. I was going to go to Ocala this morning, but last minute we switched to Citrus because this group was going. And uh, it was fun for sure, especially that last obstacle on the way down. That was pretty sloppy. Good, good stuff though. But yeah, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. If you like this type of stuff, hit the subscribe button. You know, I'm new to YouTube. Definitely appreciate all the support I can get right now. It allows me to keep keep doing what I love and you know, off roading doing recoveries and uh, helping out as much as I can. But I appreciate you guys, and uh, until next time.